so as per my discussion in the last session so we have discussed that to write a automation script we should have a fundamental knowledge of any one of the programming languages and we have also discussed in our last session that java is uh, given a preference over other languages due to certain features of the java and we have discussed the certain features of the java in the our last session that is what is uh, 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 the advantage of java that is it is platform independent portable and it is object oriented so today we'll be discussing uh, how to write a java application and in our last lecture we have introduced you to the eclipse editor so eclipse is the editor where we can write and execute our java application and uh, i've already discussed in my last lecture that you do not have to download java separately because java comes bundled up with the eclipse editor so you do not have to download and install the java separately if you have installed eclipse java comes along with the eclipse okay so now when we are talking about java as a programming language so we say that programming languages can be divided into two parts one is procedural language and other is object oriented languages the examples of procedural languages are like pascal cobol fortran okay and object all the latest languages are object oriented like java c sharp your nsc plus plus python all these languages are object oriented so what is the difference between a procedural language and object oriented language can you elaborate little bit what is the difference between procedural language and object oriented language can you elaborate Uh, what is the meaning of object exactly okay so let me let let me let me give the example uh, 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 so that uh, through the example we can understand it in a more clear way say there there are two shops two toy shops are there and in one toy shop the person the shopkeeper has put all their to uh, toys in a single container that is ball shuttle your and a carom carom board and a uh, and ludo and a uh, 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 dice etc everything he has kept at a single box now when children come to him and he say i want a shuttle then what he will he will do he will search the shuttle inside the box and he will shuffle the box and items here and there and he will pick one shuttle and give it to the child now there is another shopkeeper too what he has done he has kept different boxes for different items shuttle different box your in a, a ball different box some other items different boxes and again when a children come to him and he say i want a ball he will just go to the section where there is a ball and pick the ball and give it to the child so which is better management keeping all the things at a single place or managing and dividing the different sections and keeping the items in the different sections so he'll say that making different sections and keeping different objects at a different sections is a better management than keeping all the things at a single place that is a concept of procedural language and object oriented language in procedural language we keep all the things at a single place and when we execute its complete program is a set of a process it, it is a complete process which a to z do this do this do this and you get a result it is a complete set of the processes which are executed one after another and if any one of the step is missed complete process will stop working but whereas when we talk about a object oriented programming so we say our program or our application is divided into different sections basically each section is performing different actions which are related to each other and if there is a problem in one section complete application will not will 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 not stop working like a human body is divided into different parts i have a eyes i have a brain i have a heart different organs performing different actions 
and are related to each other. In case there is a problem with eyes or some problem with with a kidney or a heart, you, uh, the person will not die. We can survive through other organs and we can rectify the specific organ or replace the specific organ if they, they, there is any major problem. So everything which you look around yourself is an object donated. Like a laptop is divided into different objects. Keyboard is a different object. A screen is a different object. Motherboard and processor is a different object. And they are doing different actions. But in combination they are working. And if there is a problem in one section. You will not throw your laptop away. You can replace or rectify that particular object. Which is having the problem. So that's the concept of object oriented programming. So we say where there is a. Is a encapsulation encapsulation means binding of the different objects together related data together where there is a concept of encapsulation abstraction abstraction means a work is performed but how it is performed is hidden from me that is we are using some predefined libraries we are using some methods in our application they are performing the action but if i uh, if some person ask me how what is the code written behind them i will say i do not know these are methods which are provided by the library. I am just using that particular library and I do not know what, what is written behind them. I am just using it. So Selenium as that we discussed in the last lecture is a library. APM is a library where there are certain predefined methods available which we write in our Java application and they perform the action to click. They perform the action to mouse over. They perform the action to do, uh, do the typing. But what code is written behind them that is abstract from us. Okay, like when we drive a car, then what is relevant for me that I want to change the gear. But if someone asks me how this gear, gear is changing, how this accelerator is working inside, how this engine is working inside, what I will say, I will say I am not a mechanical engineer, I do not know how it is working and I am not bothered about it because my role is to drive a car, I, I am not bothered about it, how internally they are working. So similarly, when we are designing an application, so we use different kind of the libraries to design our application and we are least bothered about them. What is a code written behind them? Okay. So that is the concept of abstraction, encapsulation, abstraction, and then polymorphism. Polymorphism means a work is performed in a different ways. According to the input, the output changes. Like take example, there is a calculate method or say there is a method open browser. If I pass the input Chrome, it will open a Chrome browser. If I pass the input Firefox, it will open the Firefox browser. So it means open browser is performing the action to open the browser, but which, which browser it want to open, I am passing it as an input and according to that, it is giving me the output. Like a calculator, I am passing the input addition. Then it will do addition. If I am passing the input subtraction, it will perform the subtraction. It means same method is performing different actions according to the input. That is a concept of polymorphism. That is same method behavior changes according to the input provided by the user. That is a concept of polymorphism. And then inheritance. Inheritance means that that we are reusing the method. If 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 a function is already available with us and we want to use it again and again then instead of defining it again and again we can define it once and can reuse it again and again in our application that is a concept of inheritance a programming language which has these four features is a object oriented programming language and then we have already discussed that java is a platform independent and portable language because of jvm java virtual machine now what is a java virtual machine it is an interpreter which interprets the java class to the operating system. JVM executes, runs the Java application line wise line by using just in time JIT processor. And JIT processor uses the uh, Java runtime environment to execute the Java program according to the operating system. Okay, like take an example, I am speaking in Hindi and I have a student who knows only Tamil. I have a student who knows only Malayalam. I have a student who knows only uh, Bengali. And I am talking in Hindi. So my language is not portable because I am speaking in a language which is not understood by other three people. But if I keep my interpreter who, who interpret my Hindi language to Tamil, 
हिंदी लैंग्वेज टू मलयालम हिंदी लैंग्वेज टू बंगाली देन आई विल से बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंटरप्रेटर्स माई लैंग्वेज हैज बिकम पोर्टेबल सिमिलरली द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द जावा दैट वी राइट अ प्रोग्राम इन इंग्लिश एंड वेन वी कंपाइल इट इट कन्वर्ट्स टू द क्लास फाइल डॉट क्लास फाइल इज अ एग्जीक्यूटेबल फाइल विच इज एक्सिक्यूट बेसिकली एंड हु एक्सिक्यूट इट इट इज अ जे वी एम जावा वर्चुअल मशीन विच एक्सिक्यूट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो आई कैन राइट अ जावा प्रोग्राम इन अ विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आई कैन कंपाइल इट ऑन अ विंडोज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बट इफ आई वॉन्ट टू रन इट आई कैन रन इट ऑन अ मैक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सब्जेक्ट टू कंडीशन आई हैव अ इंटरप्रेटर विच कैन इंटरप्रेट दैट क्लास फाइल टू द मैक ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम तो जावा प्रोवाइड्स अ डिफरेंट रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट्स जे आर ई डिफरेंट रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट्स फॉर डिफरेंट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड डिफरेंट रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट्स प्रोवाइड्स जावा वर्चुअल मशीन विच इंटरप्रेट द जावा कोड अकॉर्डिंग टू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम which makes the java as a platform independent and it is a multi threaded language that it supports the multiple user request so it is a multi threaded and secure language these are the features of the java now as we have discussed the features now uh, to write a application of java i will open the eclipse and as i told you uh, if you want to work simultaneously you can work simultaneously you can open the eclipse with me on your system and Uh, when you open the eclipse it will ask for the workspace default workspace you can just click on okay and your uh, eclipse will open up okay so you can double click on the icon it will launch the eclipse it, and they you will get a message for in a workspace you can use the default workspace and click on okay and then it will launch the eclipse like you can see on my system okay on the left hand side here i have these package explorer but on your system because you are opening it for the first time you will not get the package explorer because we have not created any java project right now okay so you you will get a welcome screen you can close that particular welcome screen by clicking on cross button and then on a left hand side only you will get a link new java project you can click on that link or you can go to the file and you can click on new and then you can click on java project hence the first step to is to create a java project so i am clicking on this java project if you want to do it you can do it simultaneously with me here you can uh, on the left hand side you will get the links from there you can also click new java project uh, or if the, it is not available you can go to the file then new and here you will get java project you can click on this java project and then you can give the name of the java project like i am giving any name you can give say i am giving evening java if you have any problem in understanding or executing you can uh, uh, and uh, ask me uh, okay so project name you can give any name but do not give any spaces in between like here do not give any space you can use underscore you can use dash but do not use a space so you can give any name whatever you feel like then it will automatically select the java runtime environment gre as i already told you java comes bundled up with the eclipse okay so it will automatically select the gre do, do not have to do anything here in the bottom you will find this module this module will be checked this one when you click for the first time this module you will see that this module will be checked what you have to do you have to uncheck it okay i do not want this module right now i do not want this module info so i will uncheck it uncheck it so you don't have to check it okay you have to uncheck it and then just click on this finish button and after clicking on this finish button you will get in the package explorer you will get this evening java written over here and you will get this arrow button you can click on this small arrow button and it will expand your project evening java it will expand it inside the evening java you will get the java runtime environment library it means it will automatically add the java library into your project okay and one more package is there that is the src src means source where you will be keeping your java files okay have you uh, are you doing it simultaneously with me okay fine if you uh, have any problem you can ask 
now uh, if i right click on this src i select and i right click on this src i do not do it just watch it and i go to new and create a class and say i give a name of the class something abc it is giving me the warning above here it is giving me the warning and it is saying that the use of default package is discouraged so it means here i am creating a java class without creating a package now what is a package package is nothing but a folder in java like we create a folder in our operating system home images or office images so we are creating two separate folders so that i can keep home images at one location and office images at other location similarly we have to group the java classes and how do we group the java classes by creating a package so it is saying that you have not created the package and it is discouraged so hence what i will do i will create the package first again i will right click on this src i will go to this new and here you will find this package written over here select click on this package give the name of the package any name you can give say i gave the name as com if it is checked you have to uncheck it i do not want to check this create package info i do not want to check this uncheck this if it is checked uncheck this just write the name i do not want this uh, text box checked unchecked it and click on finish it will create a com package now again i will go and i will right click on com package and again i will go and go to the class java has certain reserved word keywords in java so what is a class class is a reserved word a keyword in java by who by which name java application is saved hence whenever you are making a java application the first step is to create a class now when i click on right click uh, sorry when I, when I click on this class it will ask the name of the class again say i give the name of the class as body then again it is giving me some warning it is saying the type name is discouraged and it is saying that you have to start the name with upper upper case letter so that is a convention in java that is whatever the name of the class is you should start the name of the class by the first letter as capital so again i will make this first letter as capital b as copy so i, I any name you can give i am just a demonstrative example so i am giving the name as a body okay then from here when you uh, are opening for the first time you will see you will get this check in inherit abstract methods this will be this will be checked what you have to do you have to uncheck this you don't we, i do not want this inherited abstract methods uncheck this and you have to check this method public static void main i will check this one and then click on this finish button now this is the basic structure of the of, of your program the first line is always package and the package name where we have added our class and all the letters which are coming in pink colors are keywords of java package public class static void all these are keywords in java and all the keywords are in a small letter so java is a case sensitive language okay now there, there is no indentation in java like in some programming languages there are indentation indentation means like if there is a space over here you have to write the space over here and you have to match the spaces it's not like that in java you can simply write even if you are making the uh, curly bracket over here no problem in that but uh, so that you come to know which is the opening bracket and which is the closing bracket so hence i am taking it to the next line so this is the opening of class and this is the ending of the class if i put the semicolon over here semicolon means termination termination of the statement 
so if i write semicolon after a it will this statement is terminated and it will show you the error because it, it is a continuation of the statement so i will not terminate it okay this is the starting of the class this is the ending of the class i can write a comment comment tag means which is not a part of a code double slash is a comment tag like here this is a comment tag and only for your reference you can write some comments like i am writing end of body so this is the ending of the body inside a inside a class in, inside inside a class this is the body means body class this is the end of body class okay inside a class there there is a main method again i am taking the curly bracket to the next line so that it is easier to understand this is the opening bracket and this is the ending bracket of this main now what is the method which has a circular bracket is a is called a method in java in some programming languages we also call it as a function but in java we do not call it as a function we call it as a method now here with body class i am not writing circular bracket it is giving me the error here i am writing this circular bracket start circular bracket close so this is called methods and it is the method which performs the action say again i am writing a comment this is end of main method and i cannot terminate it over here again if we terminate it it will give you the error now inside this curly brackets of main method i am writing one command system dot out dot print ln say hello now here it is compulsory to write a ter termination of of this because this is the ending of the statement and what i am calling over here now system is predefined class what is this system if i take my mouse over to this system it is saying the system class so system is a class like we this this particular class is user defined class this class is defined by me this package again is a user defined package but when i take my mouse over to this it is saying java.lang now what is this java.lang java.lang is again a package like if i take my mouse to this body it is saying com.body body so it is saying com is a package and body is a class similarly system i am taking it is saying java.lang is a package and system is a class and when i take my mouse to the this, this print ln again again it is saying print ln is a method it is saying circular brackets over here this is circular but here there is no body that is curly bracket start curly bracket close it is not showing that thing curly bracket start curly bracket close it is only showing that void is a return type and print ln is a method and it is taking input as a string double quote so it it means print ln is a method coming from this system class and what it is doing it is giving me the output some code must be written behind this print ln method but i do not know what code is written behind it how it is working so i am just using it if i run it again okay save it and i select my class right click on it you will get the option run as java application and it will give me the output hello so it means this this is a action performed by the class by the sorry by the by, by this print ln method and print ln method is performing the action to give the output so how it is giving the output i do not know i am just calling this method it means it i am terminating it there is no curly bracket opening close i am not defining the body i am just calling the method 
so it means system is a predefined class and what I am doing calling predefined print ln method so I am just writing as a comment so that uh, it, it will become little bit easier for you to understand okay now again I am saving it now if I remove this particular class from uh, uh, this message from here if I, if I remove it and instead of placing inside this main if I keep this message over here in the curly brackets of the body I am not adding this particular message inside the curly bracket of the mean I am not writing I am writing it outside the mean here within the curly brackets of this class then it is giving me the error that it is that is it is saying that is it is illegal basically it is a syntax error why it is giving me the syntax error it is giving me the syntax error because class does not perform any action like again take a take an example of my human body in a human body what is the role of a skeleton bones bones a skeleton does not perform the action to think digest hear or see what is the role of a skeleton in a body the role of a skeleton in a body is to encapsulate the organs that is it holds the brain eyes heart kidney etc together and it is the organ which are performing the action so similarly class is a encapsulator class is a container which encapsulates the methods main method or our user defined method which encapsulates the method and it is the method which performs the action class cannot perform the action again for example I just give you the example if I write int age is equals to 67 and if I write if age is greater than 18 then do something that is you can vote otherwise you cannot vote I am writing this particular code over here you see it is giving me errors over here if I am writing some logic over here that if the age is 67 and if my age is greater than 18 then I can vote otherwise I cannot vote if I am writing some logic over here where in the class block it is giving me the error but again if I copy and remove it from here and I keep it inside the main method here it is not giving me error so it means what is a class class is a reserved word a keyword in java by whose name a program is saved and class is a encapsulator which encapsulate the method and it is the method which performs the action class cannot perform the action similarly if i again in the same example if i remove this class in some programming languages there is no need to write the class you can directly write the mean but in java it is not permitted it is compulsory to write a class without class program will not only mean method will not work and you cannot keep the main outside the class also like this again it is error so it means main method has to be inside the class now okay so i think you have understood what is the meaning of this package what is the meaning of this and a class and what is the role of a class and main method now again i am saying i am writing one uh, line like system dot out 
dot print ln and although I think you also understood what is system dot 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 print ln and say I writing I am writing looking hearing say I have written some methods like some some uh, print ln statements like looking hearing digesting now if I run this particular application again what it will do it will execute each one of them looking hearing digesting but it is a procedural approach again looking is a action hearing is a action digesting is a action so what I what my body should do single it means here what I am doing my single organ is performing all the actions but actually in an object oriented approach I told you what that it should be different sections for different actions so it means to make it is an object oriented what we should do we should create our own methods so now this particular main method again is a predefined method predefined method and it is called automatically by JVM at runtime it means what I am trying to tell you is that if I change the name of the method is main one and again if I save it it is not giving me any compile time error so what is the compile time error compile time error is a syntax error like I was writing some system of print ln in class body it was giving me the error that is a syntax error but here it is not giving me any red mark it is not giving me any syntax error but now when I run it it is not giving me any any message run as Java application or if I want to run it from here you can also run it from here it will give me the error main method not found in class so now I have changed the name of the main as main one and it is not recognizing it it is saying that I am not able to find this main method and it should be defined as public static word main you cannot change it again if I remove this static from here And again if I try to run it main method is not static so it means this particular syntax you cannot change and hence and hence we say that it is also a predefined method and who's calling it JVM I told you that Java application is executed by the JVM at runtime so it is giving me the runtime error when I'm running it it is not giving me the compile time error if I'm writing it uh, main one or removing the static and saving it it is not giving me any error that means it is not giving me any compile time error so when I'm running it then only it is, it is giving me the error it means it is automatically called by at runtime so it we can say that it is a entry point of my program from where the program execution starts entry point of my program and one more thing important thing predefined method does not belong to class and one more comment I have written that it is a predefined method and it does not belong to this class 
it is inside this class within the curly brackets it is inside this class but actually it is not the object of this class important thing you have to understand okay like spiritually i am just telling this uh, for the understanding like we say that our soul is not a part of a body actually i can say this i is a part of my body this heart is the part of my body so we can say that this is the object of my body eyes and heart is the object of my body but my atman my soul i cannot say this is a part of my body so we say that it is not a part of a body and it keeps the it keeps changing the body so similarly and without atman without soul no organ will work okay so similarly main you can say is a soul of the body and it is inside the body but it is not a part of the body it is not a object of the body and it is it, it is the uh, basically belonging to the jvm which calls it at runtime and without main method program will not execute it is the entry point of my program okay but now again coming to this point that if i have written all the things at this location that is not a object oriented approach then what is the object oriented approach the object oriented approach is that we can create our own user defined methods this is our user defined package this is our user defined class so similarly i can create my own user defined methods say for example i write <coughs> public void eyes and i can separate this action in this so whenever we write a method method means circular bracket there has to be circular bracket you can give this is a user defined method so you can give any name and this circular bracket you can give the input like here we are passing a string so here also we can give the input with that we'll discuss in our in a later section and this is the written type void means it is not returning anything and this is called access modifier like public can be access modifier protected private or default so right now i'm just you and i'm making it as simpler because it is our first class so i'm just making it as a public variable only, or public object only okay which means it is accessible to all so now i have written eyes and what is the role of eyes that is looking again i will create one more method say public void ears so again i have removed this action from main and add it to the ears and similarly if you want to use you can use any other object i'm just removing but i'm just making two method now so now again if i come up so you see that class starting and class ending that is the biggest block of the program which is encapsulating methods these are the methods and what i'm doing i am defining the methods define method i am defining the method that is define means what is the name of the method what is the input to the method if any what is the written type of the method and what is the access modifier and what is the body of the method this is this is the this is the body of the method so we are defining the method and this separates the section in a class one section and another section and now we say that this belong to class when i say this belong to the class and here i am say i say this does not belong to the class look there is a difference when i say this does not does not belong to the class main method then i am saying that this is not a object of the class but when i am saying that it belongs to the class then i am saying 
that these are the objects of my class body okay now again if i run it i'll not get any output because main method is blank here and i told you main method is the entry point of the program and i told you that it is the main method from where execution starts and it is a main method which actually calls the other methods of the class like i told you my soul my it is my soul basically which calls the organs and perform the action i am breathing it without thinking i am breathing automatically without without my efforts my heart is pumping who is performing this action automatically it is doing in the in in, in my background my soul is performing it okay to see or or when i think my my mind think that you have to see so who is giving giving me the response that you have to it is a soul basically so this soul is actually which is calling these eyes and mouth so now but how it it will call it for that we have to create the constructor now what is a constructor again constructor as the name suggest constructor as the name suggest constructor means creator who create the thing constructor Const uh, when we are creating a class we have to initialize the class we have to assign the memory to the class then when the class is created then only objects will be created okay so for constructor i am writing one thing public body here i am not using void like here i was using void and here i am using the same name as that of a class so constructor is a special type of a method method means which has a circular bracket constructor is a special type of a method which has same name as that of a class and it does not return anything not even the void and again i am writing one message say system dot out dot print ln create body again i am what i am doing i am defining the constructor now how to call the constructor i will go to this main and write the name of the class i write the reference variable say parag is equals to new is a keyword in java this new is a keyword in java which calls this body constructor this one so what is what is, what it is doing it is calling constructor which initializes the class initialize class means assign memory to the class assign memory and it returns the reference variable so when i when like for example if i write int y is equals to 8 if i write this thing so what you say you say y is a reference variable which is referring is equal to the assignment operator which is referring to this 8 so if i print the value of y y will print 8 so 8 is referred by this y variable and what is the type of this 8 int is a type so you are if you if i if i directly write y is equals to 8 then it will give you the error so i have to specify the type first and what is what is the type it is a 8 so it is a type of 8 basically 8 is of int type so similarly over here is equal to the assignment operator and new body is creating the class type of the data it is initializing the class creating the class and what type of the object it will return 
it will return the class type of the object and the class name is body like here it is int and it is referred as it is of int type similarly this new object which is initialized by new keyword which means create a new class new or in a class type of the data so we have to specify which type of the data body type of the class and like why is a reference variable parag is a reference variable okay so again if i run it it is giving me the output create body here so it means this particular new body is calling this constructor above now again for example i write void with it if i write void with body now it is giving me the warning that it is not a constructor now it has become a simple method like eyes and ears and if i again run it now i will not get this output create body now i'm not getting anything output so it means whenever you are writing a constructor defining a constructor basically you have to name use the same name as then as the class and it does not return anything now using this reference variable parag and when i write dot i can call the objects of this body that is ears or say eyes so now it means here i am again calling method like dot i am writing dot println again here i was writing dot but this println method again if uh, if i if i take my mouse it was void print ln method similarly if i take my mouse over here it is void ears method over here but this particular ear method is user defined method i am defining the body okay so uh, now i am calling method so we can say in a simple language we can say a body is created and you have given the name of the body that this body will be called as a parag and parag ears and parag eyes so it means you are referring to my organs kiss that that these this is a eye of a parag this is a ear of a parag again if i write say body so it, it means you are again initializing a new body constructing a new body and this body will you are referring as subhajit and then you can use this subhajit as a reference to call the ears and eyes so it means when we are creating a new body then only this particular objects will be created for example again if i if i give you the uh, uh, just for understanding the example like you go to the hotel hotel room you check into the hotel room you go to the reception and you ask what is my room number he say sir your room number is 402 so what is this 402 402 is exactly a pointer of a space basically because in a hotel there are many rooms available and when there were there are many rooms available in a hotel and you are identified that your room number is 402 then it means you have to go to the specific space specific location which is identified as room number 402 when you enter your room 402 you see that your ac is not working 
you call the reception again my room ac is not working then again what will he will ask sir from which room you are calling then you will say room number 402 ac is not working so it means there are many acs in that particular hotel hotel rooms and how you are referring it you are referring it by the number 402 room ac is not working so you are identifying the object by the reference similarly over here what we are doing this is a these are the objects of the class and we are creating the reference variables and using that reference variables we are identifying our objects understood this much any problem in understanding okay now if you want to uh, like i told you this is a user defined method so if you want to pass some input to it say eyes i am just passing that it is taking a string as a input looking and i'm adding a with it looking is a string and with that plus is a concatenate concatenation adding the a reference variable a value with the string similarly hearing i am just writing hearing what a so now when i have defined the method and i have written input this is called input to the method then when we are calling the method we have to pass the input also now we are taking input as a string so how do we write the string we write the string within double quotes ears say music eyes say movie ears say here he is listening to some uh, ears may maybe some uh, noise noise and eyes crowd so it means parag is listening to music and movie subhajit is listening to the noise in the crowd now one more thing this is a default constructor no need to define java takes one default constructor if you want to define it you can define it otherwise it is not compulsory if you want to comment it i can comment it this is a multiple line comment backslash start and start backslash forward slash so i have not it means i have commented it then it will not give me the error when i am calling the constructor and i have not defined the constructor it will take the default constructor on its own <coughs> okay now so it means it is not giving me the error but if i say write heart then it will give me the error because i have not defined the heart method so it will only call those methods which are defined by us if it is not defined by us then it will give me the error undefined okay in a similar fashion you can uh, try many examples like again if in the faster way if i just make one more class only for the understanding and i give the name of the class as home so it will just give the name h capital then select the public static void main click on this finish button and it make it a habit that i do not i will not write any business logic any coding inside the main method that is not object oriented approach 
whatever you want to write make your own user defined method say i write public void kitchen so what is a home home is your home and home you have divided into different sections that this particular section will be kitchen section where i will do the cooking so cooking is the action you are cooking food sorry similarly you can make one more section say drawing room okay and again you can give some input so it means a home is divided into kitchen section and drawing room section we are you performing some action and again kitchen and drawing room will be created only when home is created if there is no home there cannot be kitchen there cannot be drawing room so if home is there then only there will be kitchen and drawing room so i have to create the home first so again you can give the name of the class and the reference variable reference variable can be like like my home or anything is equals to new home this is the reference variable in reference variable you can use alphabets simple e alpha numeric like e7 so that, that is your room no, home room home address my home address your flat number is e7 but you cannot use numeric and alphabet it is a error or you can use multiple characters like my home now this is constructed this home is constructed and you are referring to this home by your reference that is my home and in my home in my kitchen i am cooking say cake and in my drawing room say i am doing party if you want to make you can create the multiple instances of the class again you can create say you can give the name as your home so it means new class always initializes the new class always create a new object of the class new memory is assigned and how you are referring to that memory by this reference variable and how you call the method again by using dot So that is a basic structure of Java. How you write? What is the Java runtime environment? What is platform independence? What is object oriented approach? What is a uh, how to write a simple application in Eclipse and how to run it? I think you have understood this much. So you can try this much on your system. Okay, it is working. So.